All right, so new mic. I just got to say that, but that's only because I, I don't want to. I, I just really don't want to be wearing headphones anymore. But besides that, last week, I want to say, or earlier this past week, I uploaded a video about how Warframe was ruining my productivity, right? And of course, it did because I wasn't uploading as frequently. But I'm not going to lie. Uh, I did the same exact thing I did last weekend. So what I really wanted to like mention is essentially i'm to the point now where i'm mastery rank 28 right and not only just that but if we come over here let's see i have well you can see right here this kuva weapon all these kuva weapons and you can guess that i have the other ones so essentially what i did this uh past week let me uh let me show you guys i essentially got all the kuva weapons from all my liches and i also am progressing them to max rank so along with just spending the last i want to say 80 hours the past two weekends i have just not done anything with my life i'm not gonna lie i've literally just been rotting in this chair i've literally i feel it in my tailbone like my ass crack hurts from me sitting in this chair but we are so close to just finishing it i mean what we have the we're i think we're on the heck let me i could have sworn that we did the heck already let me see we're on the, all right so karak and then okay so i actually have to change that wow all right so the heck is actually done so in reality we just have these last couple weapons left and in reality right now we're doing the karak and the seer and then we're going to move on to the new car and those are literally the only weapons i need for the warframe ish stuff other than that the Gradler and the ayanga is an arc wing weapon so it's like you know so i've, I've been grinding a little bit uh i even got around to finishing uh duviri paradox um not gonna lie it was it was like 30 if i actually like stayed from starting it to finishing it it would have been like 30 minutes dog and the only reason why i see myself not being able to like finish it in 30 minutes was literally because like cutscenes. like it i don't know i i expected a lot more from duviri i mean i guess it's a whole new like area to explore but Honestly, they got to expand on it. It's kind of empty. I mean, given I've only done what I was supposed to do, like with the story quest. So I don't really know what it has to offer. But uh, literally, the, I mean, what? Get materials for sun and moon. Come on. Uh, other than that, I mean, what am I? What else am I going to do in this game? I mean. Once I once I'm done finishing that, I think I have another quest to do. Oh, Whisper in the Walls, which is the one that just came out recently, like two months ago, three months ago. So I'm gonna do that. I heard that was really short. I heard that was like an hour long. So we'll see that how that one is, and then I guess we just I don't know. I guess we just game from that point on. I mean, I really got to do a lot of like grinding ish stuff, like. I have to do a lot of Eidolon hunts this next weekend because I've done majority of the weapons for like being the Warframe, but I have not done a single thing for the Operator slash Drifter. Like the only thing I have done like weapon wise for the Operator slash Drifter is literally because um you get the Mo Amp, you get the Mo Amp, right? You know, let me just show you. So literally, these are the only two things I have. I have the Sirocco and the Moat Amp. And those are given to you, essentially. So I'm behind in the game. I'm not going to lie. Like, look at this. No, no, like any amps, bro. I'm slacking. Look at this. I have nothing. Uh, Look, look at my school. Like. I'm literally, this is just about to get finished because I actually started focusing this a little bit. Other than that, I was down like multiple levels on all of this. 
and uh i want to go eidolon hunting because if you go to see this and you talk to like quill on oh i and if you go to see this right and you go to quill onko like you'll see that he has a bunch of like different modes that you can craft kind of like how the kit guns and zaws work i'm guessing i don't know i haven't really tried to do anything yet but uh i gotta do that then i gotta go do uh fortuna stuff with the vent kids uh with like uh, the k drives um i think more kit guns i'm not sure and i think that you that little duck also builds the the amps for you i'm not sure listen it's stuff i gotta do research on majority of this game i've played by myself but i mean like this is this is what i've been going through now i'm actually starting to like target farm stuff so it's it's gotten a little more efficient with the farms and other than that i just need to do a steel path i mean with the steel path missions like i just need to unlock the nodes that i know i'm gonna farm like i already have my um orc and cell farm I have that what i need i think i need honestly i don't even know i do know i need to get somewhere i think on saturn or jupiter for something i don't i don't know i think it was oh i think it was tellurium that's what it was i need to get tellurium but other than that i mean i just got a target farm this next weekend i gotta do some eidolon hunts because i need to trade in the uh shards for uh standing with quill and uh also I just reached a thousand hours recently. In reality, I reached it like two days ago, but I've been playing so goddamn much. It's way past it. Uh, yeah, man. I need a life.